All right, so I've got a little bit more time to uh, to go through this uh, garage sale um, case I found and um, and I purchased for fifty dollars. Uh, some people have said that the case alone is probably worth more than that, but um, so far in the top two drawers, we found some paper bills over here. We found a lot of foreign mixed currency, and today we're going to go through this this drawer here. Uh, but before I do, I just want to give a shout out and a big thank you to uh, a commenter last week uh, by the name of Wickus. Uh, if you haven't uh, checked him out, go uh, go check him out. Uh, he has a lot of knowledge about the coins that I showed last week. And he, if you check the comments for that video, he broke it down. The ones I didn't know by, by the exact time on the frame and told a little bit of the history of the coin and where it's used and was just a huge, huge help. And I'm very thankful for him for taking the time to do that. So we're going to get started with today's hunt and see what we have in this. So I'm going to angle you down a bit. And hopefully, I'm going to readjust the microphone just a little bit. Hopefully, you'll be able to still, still hear me. There we go. So right off the bat, we have this guy here. Um, looks like a Nixon penny and getting smaller and smaller. It looks like a joke sort of thing. So we can bring it in a little bit closer, maybe zoom in a bit. So that's interesting. What's this? This looks like a metal of some sort. It's from Australia, Canada, and India it looks like, and South Africa it says. The longest reign in, in English history. I think that says 1857 to 1997. And the back is just like that. I'm not really into metals, uh, collecting metals or medallions, but still need to find. This is another one of those uh, plastic, those plastic sort of play money. This is dated. 1797 or 1757 and it looks like just play money I can't imagine this being real currency it's light it's plastic this is sort of neat it's two-sided I don't know what it's made out of it feels pretty heavy though I don't know, it might be worth testing. It's sort of neat. Got something written on it. I can't really make that out. If that's a language you speak, please leave a comment down in the, in the comment section letting me know. Like I said, it looks like it came off of some sort of jewelry or was in some sort of uh, holder. Here's another coin. It's very thin, very light, almost like a token. Pretty neat. And this is, it says Japanese coin collection on it. So let's have a look at this. Oh, looks like this one came out. This one over here. This one must go here. So this is what I'm seeing. Let me just sort of back out a bit, show you. So this is what we're looking at. And it looks like it tells you exactly what the coins are over here according to their numbers. So I'm gonna angle this down a little bit more again and zoom in. This one's a pretty easy one to figure out. This is from Japan. So, tells you what they're made out of, the year. So 
it's a nice little set. And it looks like we have a few loose coins in here. This one says 19, 19, I believe. Just by the size, it looks like it's half penny. And Great Britain. This is Federation of Nigeria, 1959. There's the other side. Looks like it's one penny. One shilling, nineteen forty eight. It's a nice looking coin. No idea what this one is. Maybe India. I'm not sure. If you know the writing, let me know. It's five something, twenty five. It's a neat little coin. This one I recognize is a three pence, 1937. And I think this is the last coin in here for this drawer. Great Britain, it says, and this is 19, what's that say, 1908, and this is one penny. All right, so that's it for the box. We'll put this back. And as always, if you have any comments or you know uh, anything about any of the coins that we've said today, uh, please leave a comment and I'll do the next drawer probably next weekend. Take care. Thanks. For